got the Cage Warriors belt on your shoulder, I guess. Tell me, how, how does it feel? A little bit surreal. Um, been a long time coming. You know, two, well, I called for it originally back this time last year when I fought in Belgium. I was told March, uh, number one contender in March. I was told June when I got injured. I was told uh, September, and then September fell through. So it's been a year in the making, but it feels good to, uh, to finally get all of it. And then let's, uh, let's keep it here for a while. Like you said, a year in the making, but also the biggest platform, I guess, in Cage Warriors history. Like a lot of pressure coming in, or did it just feel like another fight? Uh, I, I suppose to a lot of people, it would probably seem like pressure. But to me, I just thrive off, you know, scenarios like that. The, the, the bigger the stakes, the better I perform. The, the bigger the stakes, the better the opponent, the, the better Jack Shaw you'll see. And I think that showed tonight, probably toughest opponent to date. And you know, I beat him at his own game, and um, that was always the plan going in. I, I knew my ability, and then you know, thankfully everything went to plan. How did he, how did he feel in there? Like obviously. Backed you up against the fence pretty early, but you managed to get the trip. Like, how, how did he feel strength-wise? Yeah, I mean, he, he was he was strong, but I I didn't feel outstrengthened at all. You know, I felt technically technically in the clinch that uh, I had the advantage. He, he did catch me with a nice little trip, but I think that was mainly due to me getting my own legs tangled. Um, just a bit of sloppiness on my part, but I didn't didn't feel outstrength at all. I felt, if anything, I felt like I was the stronger and the bigger man in it. You went for about twenty rear naked chokes throughout the fight. Like, <laughs> what, what was stopping you getting that? Was it just I think it was the uh, was it? the blood. I think he, he had a little cut above his eye, and also you know with the sweat and the blood pump. It wasn't a big cut, but w w under them lights, the blood flows fast. And uh, a couple of times I under the throat, but it was just it just seemed to just keep sliding up. You know, I, I got at the uh, the neck crank from the rear naked choke position, but because because of the sweat and the blood, just kept just sliding. You know, his form just kept sliding across my his chin. Sorry, kept sliding across my forearm a little bit, and it just prevented me. So. My corner just said, "Look, just pin the arm and, and keep striking." You know, that this is too too slippery for that. Nick and Day was also undefeated. You feel like you proved a big point here tonight. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I proved to a lot of people that, you know, I, I don't know what, what's wrong. I just every time I have a fight, people seem to doubt me for the next one. Oh, his opponent's not that good. Oh, he's fighting nobody's this and that. I've been saying it for a long time. You know, I'm I'm top level, top tier, whether whether they want to accept it or not. And now I think they can't really. Say anything now, you know. Everyone was saying coming into this, this was a 50 50 fight on paper. People were saying he was going to manhandle me, and, and I was he going to do, and what was I going to do when he got me down? But you know, I showed that, that I can compete at that top level, these top guys, and, and obviously come up with the finishes as well, like, like I like to do. Were you surprised at all at how dominant you were? Like, I mean, it was a really dominant performance. He was in top position in the second round, but then immediately, as soon as he stood up, you took him down again, and he did a lot more damage there. Like, I mean, I think a lot of people were surprised how one sided it was, to be honest. Yeah, I wouldn't say surprise. I, I expected it to be a little bit more 50-50 in, in the first round. Obviously, coming in fresh, I expect him to be strong, a lot stronger, and a lot, you know, try to put that grind on me a little bit more. But I just, you know, once I got that, that trip and I'm half guard, I'm good from me. You know, I can control anyone from there. I knew once I get that early that I could start to weigh him down, and I felt him getting more and more tired then in the second and the third round, and I was able to get more damage off, which ultimately led to the finish. Scott Malone feels like he's undeniable now in terms of he got his first round win tonight as well. Do you, uh, would you entertain a, a total defence against Scott? I'm open. I always say, you know, I'll fight anybody. I don't get paid to match make. I get paid to fight. So, if Ian and Graham want me to fight Scott, then I'll fight Scott. If they want me to fight someone else, then I'll fight someone else. Um, I do need a little break. You know, two two tough camps back to back. A couple of little niggles I need to uh, to let heal up. But it's, you know, I'm sure they'll be back to Wales early next year, and I'll be happy to uh, to sell this place out again. It was an unbelievable reception you got from the crowd as you always do here. But was it something special tonight to uh, come out and hear everybody cheering on? Yeah, it seemed that little bit. I mean, last time was nuts, but but this time it, I I had a feeling it'd be that little bit louder. You know, I sold a lot of tickets for this fight, so um, I had that feeling it would be a little bit better and a little bit louder than it was. You know, coming, out, I really really felt it, and I think it pushed me on here a little bit as well. I knew I had a point to prove. Um, but but they, they definitely spurred me on, especially when I was in that top position. You know, I could hear the crowd getting louder as, as the ref was talking to him. So it, it does give you that little bit of push. And like I said, in there, I'll never be able to. Uh, they, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll, never, I'll never be able to uh, repay repay all the people for the support they give me. Have you been able to talk to your father? He looked quite emotional there as the, as the belt was put around your waist. And uh, not properly. He's by there now, but uh, not not properly. You just. Yeah, a little cry in there. Like I knew he would. He was the same way Marshall won the belt. But you know, it's a it's a big moment for him, like it is for me. So we'll have a tidy chat now in the car on the way home. To win the belt is obviously special, but to win it in your hometown, I can't imagine how that must feel. Yeah, I mean, e every fight's a big one, but when, when it's in Wales, it, like I said before, the fight to fight for a world title is a big deal, and then to do it on 100 and to do it in your backyard is is three times as big. So it's always a big deal for me to fight in Wales, but to win this belt, you know, my first world title, it's. Uh, is something I'll never forget and something no one will be able to take away from me. Good stuff.